Deep breath in. Hold it. Release. Brothers and sisters, I got something important to talk about. Where did I get this intel? Eight years ago. Where did I get this information? Eight bloody years ago. So. So, if, okay. Right now, the ruble just went on to a gold standard, allegedly. Okay, but some tells me that it's not alleged. So, this could mean a transfer of power if Americans don't step up to the plate. And what do I mean by Americanos? Americanos. Americans not stepping up to the plate. It means this. If the ruble just got stepped to the dollar... Well, then Fort Knox has a bunch of gold in it. And is that the truth? No. So let's go into fiat fiat currency. What is fiat currency? So, I, for example, I was at a doctor. This is a shout out to all the good doctors out there that actually help people. I'm at a doctor and I said, I have anxiety issues, this, that, and the other. And he says to me, oh, well, it sounds like you're addicted it's just some, to, to a certain substance, right? And I thought to myself, well, okay, who's not addicted to anything? Are you, now, and there's, fingers, there's no fingers being pointed back at me. Not today, not tomorrow. Are you addicted to sleeping medication? Do you take melatonin? No. Are you addicted to food? Fat people say yeah. Are gays addicted to Adderall? Or meth? Not all of them. But a good majority of the gay people are. It all starts with the meth. Now, Georgia governor, and I have no problem with this guy because I'm not a big man want to smoke it myself. He is opposing, opposing, um, legal decriminalization of marijuana throughout the United States of America. Now, do I agree with that? Um, I think it should be used for medicinal purpose. This is purposes but yet you have more hard you can't even put a schedule on alcohol because if it were it'd be a schedule one drug anyhow furthermore into my conversation and, and to know what where why i'm here wow and when shout out to jay wow you got big lips and you're very beautiful puss puss shout out to lady gaga dude um so what I'm getting at is this. The ruble just went on to a dollar currency, a, a real currency. Now the fiat currency as once, shout out to my mentor. He said, well, this dollar holds a lot of weight, right? A lot of weight. To, uh, you know, this is a slim, a slim slice of paper. No. Let's go even further into this. So in order for the fiat currency to work, everybody has to agree that it works. And, but if it's not backed up by any stand, gold standards or silver standards on my right, li on my right, on my right arm, well then how does it compare to a ruble now? Now the ruble just might be the new currency. And there's an exchange in new world orders. We have Biden family. Who's just a puppet trying to start World War Three with Vladimir Putin. Putin. Vladimir Putin, if you're out there, peace be with you, family. I understand why you're doing it. I don't understand and I don't overstand. And I'm not here to understand nor overstand my boundaries, but I am here to tell you as commander and chief, um, I condone what you're doing as long as it's not a genocide. Now, I just saw something interesting in the paper today. 
Furthermore, that all of a sudden Joe Biden saying, well, you know, we didn't have anything to do with the sinking, the sinking of that ship. Because that's a military ship. Now, let's go back to World War II. The sinking of the Lusitania. Now, Lusitania was holding 125 Americans. Okay? Prior to jumping in to a world war after we were bombed by Japan, who awoke the sleeping giant. Okay? Who do I stand with? I'm American. American. And, uh, pretty sure last time I said it, um, American. Okay? But I, re I represent the American culture. Now, why do I do this? I do this because on the behalf of the people, because nobody has the guts to stand up um, in order to we the people. And let me tell you from what I'm understanding. Don't tread on me, first of all. She is real. I want to give a shout out to Xi Jinping as well. We have the lion, or excuse me, the eagle. Lion, tigers, and bears, oh my. Lion, tigers, and bears, oh my. Eagles, bears, and dragons, oh my. Brothers and sisters, if you don't understand what's going on, we have a sick agenda by Biden and his administration to start a world war. What happens after this world war? The Matrix collapses. What happens if the Matrix collapses? Now I'm thinking so clear. I got my wisdom, my other wisdom teeth pulling out, right? What, what makes this so important? Okay. One, Vladimir Putin is not stupid. He's, how do I know he's not stupid? Because, well, I understand him. Actually, I, I could go as far as saying, as I, family, I can go as far as saying I understand him because I, I understand how his logic works. Trust nobody. Do what you have to do to survive. It's called survival tactics. Shout out to the underachievers. Peace be with you, family. But you have to understand there are some serious powers that are stepping up and Joe Biden speaking for the people. Now you have to understand one very important thing. Hence, a new covenant with God. You have to understand one thing that Joe Biden doesn't give a fuck about you. He cares about his money because he's greedy. Okay, and what one that's one of the seven seven deadly sins, right? Now, when you put greed in with political power, then you have an, an individual under duress. Is he under duress? Absolutely. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna point I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way for one second to to my right wing, because I am an angel in disguise, believe it or not. I'm here to tell you that well, when Trump was in office. And Bill Clinton was actually a pretty decent president, except for, okay, yeah, mistake them for JFK. <laughs> My bad, dog. Bill Clinton was actually an excellent president. Obama, he was a good president, biggest gun salesman. Now I'm the biggest, well, gun salesman. Why? Because people like to hack into people's lives. And you know what? I want to give a huge thanks and praises to Millennia Trump. Because, and the Trump family, because they have always held it down for me. It was a hard journey, but you know what? I want to thank you, Millennia Trump. And was, and the other name of the woman is, what's, what's the other name? What's the other Trump's, um, Miss wife? Ivanka. Ivanka Trump. Both very beautiful women in their own ways. Very Russian. So I'm gonna tell you what's going on. I'm 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 spilling the beans. I'm gonna tell you what's going on. This is 
10 minutes. Okay, we're at double O timing. Um, I'm spilling the bean on this. So, basically, it's like this. If you, if you really want to know the truth, if you can handle the truth, we are friends of Vladimir Putin. Why are we friends of Vladimir Putin? Why? Because he is not our greatest nemesis. He's one of our greatest allies. Xi Jinping. I choose my predecessor as well. Xi Jinping, Xi Jinping had a little sit down together. And we talked about, well, Brazil chickens and eggs and uh, the king's men it's neither here nor there does it does it matter today does it matter tomorrow it will the point of being is this you don't know what you know until it's too late so you have two toys two choices you have two turtles you have one that's going down for a marathon, and this other turtle's really fucking fast, right? I said it correctly. I said this turtle's really fucking fast, right? But this one turtle takes his time and observes his surroundings. But the other turtle, he's not worried about his surroundings because he doesn't realize that just up ahead of him is a turtle bowl of soup and this turtle just so happens to be a cannibal so he wants his soup he wants his cake and he wants to eat it too it takes two to dance it takes three to love hence the father the son and the holy spirit and the holy ghost amen the father son and the holy ghost amen um, Ra. Now I am Egyptian. I'm very Middle Eastern. I'm also very European. These are my roots. Now, what do I want in this world? I want true love, not fake love. Now I've heard of something called Stockholm syndrome. Shout out to my mentor. You know who you are. <laughs> Stockholm syndrome, where they want to dig up so much dirt, but there's no dirt to be found. For example, Joe Biden, they want the dirt, dirt on Joe Biden, but, the, but Joe Biden doesn't have any dirt on him. So you don't try to, don't even try uh, digging a new burial site because it ain't going to work. He's not a bad guy. He's actually quite impressive. But speaking on the behalf of we the people, now picture America as one big ship. And Joe Biden is steering the ship, right? He's steering it right into a wreck. What happens when you puncture a hole in a boat? It starts to sink. If you've ever seen the Titanic, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So you have so many places in this boat. Uh, you can cut off the corners. And there's so many loopholes to this boat that you can actually cut it off. But the Titanic was one large ship, right? But it was going down, and everybody wanted life rafts, right? Because it was frigid cold water and ice and seas of iceberg. And um, St. Petersburg is where I'm looking into um, for land. So if you want to come visit me on my new piece of property, you're more than welcome to. But this is only for good people when i say good people i'm here to help you uh, what do i want to do what 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 do i want to do in life be, be beyond help people i want to win the nobel prize i'm not going to tell you why shout out to officer noble of jupiter he seen me crying i was in a lot of stress and a lot of pain uh, i want to give a shout out to donald trump you're a good man and everybody knows it but you're getting blamed for things, and that's called slander. There's no there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, 
as for big government, this is what you need to understand about government. Okay? So I saw... Um, I saw... Um, I saw... Um, literally swear that I saw gas prices up to four six nine today four dollars and sixty nine cents that doesn't make any sense actually it wasn't four six nine excuse me it was uh about four seventy six and that's the highest I've ever seen gas prices in my life most I've ever seen the gas price was the last time I was in Virginia uh living there alone which I loved it by the way no patsies no patsies around me. Okay? No peas, pals, or patsies. So, with that said, brothers and sisters, I want you to understand what's going on is really, um... I, if you can figure this out and you can put the code down below, I equals P equals T equals square. I equals... P equals T equals EMC squared. That's what it is. So if you can figure that equation out for all y'all scientists, and if you are if you are able to figure it out, well, congratulations. Because I my first equation was T fraction zero, and these very intellectual people figured it out very quickly. Uh, with that said, I, I want to say I love you, family. I want to give my thanks and praises to the veterans right now. The veterans that fought for this country to make this a, a free country. The veterans that actually love people, but are so secluding themselves. You know, not all veterans have the key. Because not, like, some of them have such PTSD from the shit they've seen so bad. Speaking of, from a veteran um, aspect. You can't give them marijuana and expect that they're going to come back. And why do I say that? Because my PTS is so severe. It's so severe. I've never stayed to dust on camera, but I'm going to stay to now. I've lost over 30 people in my life. And most of them were best friends. 30 plus people. Brothers and sisters, with that said... You know what time it is. Time is now, not tomorrow. Quit procrastinating. And that's all the best of pleasure and love I can give to you. Now, in the next video, in the next upcoming videos, I'm going to show anybody with PTSD how to... I, I want to give my thanks and praises to the U.S. Navy. Because the U.S. Navy, actually, I, I, I know they helped me out with this. Or the U.S. government. Same way. I had PTSD so bad that I was I was crippled, um, and I still am disabled. But that said, peace be with you, my brothers and sisters, and also with you. You have a great night. You have a splendid day, and whatever time it is, make sure you're on time. Be punctual and be loving.